good morning everyone to god be the glory great things he has done in our lives this morning he has waking us up in right mind and body and we are so grateful i am so grateful today today is the fourth day of june the sixth month of the year 2024 and i am grateful that i'm alive and well i'm giving god thanks that i am still on repentance ground this means that i've gotten another chance you know to ask the lord to have mercy upon me this morning i'm here just to encourage us even encouraging myself because there are times when you know we feel down in our spirit we are wondering you know what is happening you know i've been praying i've been seeking the face of god and all these things are still happening going on but press along saints continue to pray you know don't back down don't lose hope you know because god tell us in his words that he will never leave us nor forsake us he's right there in the midst with us yes just like how he was there in the the lions then with daniel the three hebrew boys he was right there but he delivered them right in there you know he could have allowed that they didn't go in there any at all but god will have to just show us that when we reach in our lion den situation a arena fire furnace situation a pit situation a red sea before us you know goliaths come you know in front of us he's telling us that um he's right there with us and he's able to see us through just continue you know to trust him his grace is sufficient you know just continue to pray and pray for his grace to keep you you know and and to carry you through to see you through day by day as we say it's a daily walk with the lord you know today it's a new day you know it's a new walk with the lord for me you know and the lord will renew your mind so you're going your minds and you know you're going to be renewed with the word of god so we're going to remind ourselves you know of what god word is saying to us and his words are truth you know our god is a covenant keeping god whatever he says that it is you know and he will never change never ever when we even change our walk away you know god never walks away he's right there with his extending arm waiting on us you know to come back you know to reach out you know and 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 to look to him he loves us he loves us and this is why he sent jesus you know to die you know for our sins to rescue us from a life of damnation a life of eternal debt you know in order for us to have this life of eternal life and i am grateful for this life this morning i'm grateful for the salvation that is free you know and i am free my mind is free my heart is free no more bondage no more chains you know no more you know yoke you know to weigh me down but this morning you know at times we might you know be there we might be in a valley situation but i just want to you know remind us that jesus is right there in the valley with us so i'm going to read some verses you know just to remind us and to reassure us that jesus cares and he's there with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you amen amen and the first one um verse is coming from second um corinthians 9 and verse 8 and it said because our god is sufficient he's able you know he's sufficient it's all we need he's all we need amen and we just need his word to comfort us you know and to help us and to guide us along the way amen and god is able to make all grace abound towards you that he always having all sufficiency in all things may abound every good work that's the god in whom we serve and as i said he's a promise keeping god but my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus and that's philippians 4 and verse 19 it says he's able to supply all your needs not some not some not pick and choose the needs and needs are different from wants and god know when to do how to do and what time to do amen amen therefore i say unto you what things what things soever he desire when he pray believe that he receive them and he shall have them that's mark 11 verse 24 so the word is telling us this morning that whatsoever it is that we ask the Lord for, believe that you have already received it. Even when you don't see it, because, you know, faith is not seeing the thing right there. 
but it's evident open for it and believing that you have already received it and when you when you say faith faith without works is dead so you're going to pray you're going to believe that you have you have already received it and believing it it's a work that means that you have it already so even if it take you 10 more days from when you prayed for it a year to you believe that you receive it already because god know how to give his children good gifts amen amen second corinthians 3 verse 5 not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of of ourselves but our sufficiency is of god so we of ourselves no we are not sufficient we are not completed you know we are not enough we are not enough but we serve a god that is more than enough he's able to do for us what no one else can when the doctors um you know run out of ideas and their medical um what you call it the knowledge fail them god in all his wisdom and understanding the manufacturer for our bodies you know who don't need an x-ray a ct scan machine or x-ray or any type of machine to tell what is happening inside of us you know to tell what is going on with our organs internal and external you know god don't depend on the world knowledge he himself is knowledge you know and he gives wisdom amen amen philippians 4 verse 13 i can do all things through christ which strengthen me say to yourself today remind yourself that you can do all things even in the valley even when you're going through even when sad time come you know 